Republican lawmakers, lawmakers in Georgia eliminating a proposed tax break for Atlanta-based Delta Airlines after Delta cut ties with the NRA. Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle saying in a statement, quote, businesses have every legal right to make their own decisions, but the Republican majority in our state legislature also has every right to govern, govern guided by our principles. Let's take a quick check at Delta stock end of the day in the red. Let's bring in Republican Georgia State Senator Michael Williams. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Liz. Thanks for having me on today. I'm glad to have you on to talk about this. Okay, Delta's now saying only 13 people use this NRA discount anyway. Was this worth the battle over just 13 people? A absolutely. And, and to me, Liz, it goes beyond the uh, Delta removing their affiliation with the NRA. I was actually fighting this Friday before Delta even made their announcement because I don't believe in corporate welfare or crony capitalism. And that is exactly what this measure did with uh, not taxing jet fuel for sales tax. So well, we, we were fighting this from day one. Yeah, and uh, just the, the comments the NRA made just brought a lot of attention to it and made it a lot easier for me to fight it. So. Uh, uh, you know, here's Delta, here's, what, here's what Delta's saying. Our decision was not made for economic gain. Our values are not for sale. None of this changes the fact that our home will still be Atlanta. We are supporters of the Second Amendment, just as we embrace the entire Constitution. They just say they have tremendous respect and admiration for the governor, but they don't like to get into politics. And that's what's going on. And also, we're hearing the governor may move forward anyway on the jet fuel tax, uh, tax break for Delta. I mean, he's criticized both sides in this fight, the governor. Um, he's saying it's kind of antics that tend to happen in election years. What do you think? Yeah, well, again, for Delta to say they did not want to get involved in politics, I, I, I don't buy that because the timing of when they pulled their affiliation with Delta in that same press release that you're reading from, the CEO of Delta said that they're going to go through a review of all of their affiliations and get rid of any that might be divisive. And had they done that with Delta included in that list instead of sing singling them out, I don't think it would have been the issue that it is now. But for them to single out Delta the way they did for the yeah. NRA, it made it a political issue. You know, there's about a dozen, and we counted 20 companies doing this, uh, you know, cutting off ties with the NRA. Did you guys, when you sat down and talked about this, were you thinking of, you know, maybe sending a message to other companies, don't do it? Well, again, this, does, this necessarily was not about sending a message. They were the only company here in Georgia that was asking for a special tax break. They attached it to a bill that was going to give all of Georgians and all of Georgia corporations the same tax break. So we were going to go ahead and we did give Delta the same break that we gave all of Georgians and all businesses, but they wanted a special one. And to say they wanted a special one the same time they're out there disassociating with the NRA, it just went against the values that the people of Georgia here uh, believe in, in, in value.